We can create our edit shapes directly in Map Studio with the Create Edit Shape widget. There's options for polygons, lines, and points. To start, we'll create a polygon, in this case using the freehand draw method. We'll draw anywhere in Map Studio and see it's highlighted. We can also make edits by a single left clicking and dragging the nodes. Once we're satisfied with the shape, we can give it a descriptive name. And we can either select an existing folder to store it in, or create a new folder. When ready, click Create. See a confirmation that the shape has been created. If we go into Layer List, and turn Shapes on, in this case Polygons, you can see there's the shape with the name in the center. From here, it'll be available in the drop-down menus throughout IftyDis, as well as My Workspace in the folder that you've stored it in. We can also work from existing shapes to make copies that have edits or more shapes added to them. In this example, if we wanted to select the shape, make an edit, and add a couple additional shapes, we could do that. First, go into Layer List, ensure that the shape is turned on. In our Select tool, and select Single Part, as this is a single shape. Single left click, you can see it's highlighted. The yellow highlighting indicates that the shape is selected. Single left click again, and we can make edits. From here, if we wanted to add additional shapes, we can select a shape type and start adding to the landscape. Give it a name, select a folder, and hit create. And we can see that a multi-part shape has been created. This same feature can be handy for creating shapes from IftyDisk reference layers. For example, if we wanted to create a shape to represent our forest and park from IftyDisk reference layers, we could do that. In this case, I'll go into reference layers, select a reference layer. For multi-part shapes, we'll select multi-part. Click on the reference shape, we can see. We can see these are now highlighted. We can name them and save them. Or if we just wanted to select one of these shapes, we'll hit clear, select single part, and now we just have one. As we can create a layer with multiple polygons, we can also create multiple lines. Or a set of multiple points. One thing to note, the clear button only works for shapes that we're in the process of editing or creating. If we have a shape that we need to delete, that's done in My Workspace. To delete a shape, go into the folder that your shape is stored in, select it, and click the Delete button. And that's a quick introduction to the Create Edit Shapes widget in Map Studio.